okay before I start this video somebody is going to say oh look you made a microphone so what <laughs> well at some point you're gonna have to look past uh, the obvious and see what is actually occurring when the energy input from this speaker right here vibrates the diaphragm which in turn transfers that acoustic wave through a sealed container through whatever air or molecules or possibly even dust inside there the pressure wave then hits the diaphragm on the opposite side causes the diaphragm to do this there's a little coil of wire at the end of the diaphragm that then in turn goes in and out over a metal rod that is inside this circular magnet and then is transferred down this is to my voltmeter on that wire right there but for these two wires down into err, that white wire which is the input of the left side uh, channel of this little 12 volt amplifier these uh, the energy is then transferred from there goes up and in, into this speaker right here and the cycle is repeated back uh, as the uh, diaphragm inside this is going in and out the magnets and you get the acoustic wave so the energy from this is transferred through that and then replicated with this right here that's the short and sweet of it uh, hope you enjoy this video it's uh, not really exciting but uh, I wanted to share this with you because this is uh, relevant to one of the major projects that I'm working on. So enjoy, stay tuned, peace and love. Everybody, it's Osha Ziz here. I've got something I want to show you. Now, this might not be the most exciting video in the world, but the uh, project that you're seeing before you is a, a beginning of a acoustic sound test that I'm going to be doing, uh, in, having to do with energy transfer. Essentially, this one here isn't for generating electricity per se it's just uh, basically replicating the sound off of this speaker which is powered by the signal generator and I'm going to be powering it at point zero uh, I'm at, in the kilohertz range in the point zero range zero 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 whatever and uh, basically what goes on in this deal right here is that this speaker here sends an acoustic wave into this container so it's sealed up top and bottom and uh, take you on a bumpy ride if I can do it here if you look down in there there's a speaker on that direction and there's a speaker on that direction this side is not powered it uh, is what my voltmeter is connected to and the output goes over to the input which is that white uh, wire on the uh, left side of that little 12 volt amplifier and then those two uh, red and yellow run to that uh, speaker right there so whatever sound this uh, vibrations this will pick up it will replicate and play on that right there so with that said, put my camera back. Don't make everybody dizzy. Alright. Now if you look at this voltmeter, you see that I can go over here and I can tap on this right here 
and get a voltage. That's because the speaker diaphragm is connected to a little coil sleeve that goes over the top of a magnet and well actually in and out the center of this magnet which this has a metal piece that it slides in between this magnet and that metal and so you actually generate a voltage. So I'm going to start this thing at about 0 0.01 it's actually going right now uh, let's see yeah you can't you can't hear it on the camera I'm sure it's point zero two point zero three point zero five range and this is a sine wave you notice that at a certain point that voltage dropped off it was down around about 5,000 and it's only point this is down in the 200 milliamp range it's only point uh, it fluctuates between point 0.2 and point 0.5 volts or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to shift this over to a square wave. Now we're at the same, same uh, 5,000, 0, 0.05,000 kilohertz and you can see it changed the voltage on there because it has more of a bass tone inside there can actually feel that and you can hear what you hear out this right here slightly amplified on that speaker right there so I'll try to take you on a little bumpy ride one more time and see if you can hear this speaker kilohertz point zero six thousand at a certain point that wave is still making across there because you can hear it out that speaker right there however it's not uh, given enough time to actually put some voltage to that even in the millivolt range so about 0.23,000 kilohertz square wave bring us all the way up to a headache here I guess that's about 0.50,000 kilohertz square wave with that TRGL. Is that triangle? <laughs> There's a sine wave. Square wave.
that's about uh, 0.38 thousand kilohertz and it it dropped off 39 the wave actually drops off around about 0.4 40 thousand kilohertz still feel it vibrating on the opposite side at 38 and you can still hear it through the speaker so even that acoustic wave can actually get to a point where it vibrates so fast and that's back down to that's back down to 0 0.05 thousand. Whatever this, whatever this sound makes right here is passed through the air inside this chamber and duplicated via the diaphragm on this speaker into that amplifier and that. No, it's not a very exciting video, but uh, it's uh, really significant to a project that I'm uh, a major project that I've been working on, and I just needed to share that with you so you'd have that bit of information. Thank you. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. All right, short addendum. Uh, those two speakers are approximately nine inches apart. And they're going through a sealed container, not vacuumed out. It's just air in between there. And you can hear that it's replicating the noise made on this side right here on this speaker signal gets high enough this diaphragm isn't vibrating far enough you can feel it vibrate all the way up till round about let me just listen for when it drops off 42,000 kilohertz, point 42,000, 43.4. Somewhere about 49 and 50 kilohertz it drops off. There's a square wave at 48 kilohertz. Drops off a little earlier on the square wave. But at about 0.05 thousand kilohertz I get just a tiny bit more voltage that this actually uh, generates off and on intermittently all right so anyway not a very
very exciting video. Sorry, folks. Uh, it all makes sense whenever I get this uh, other project finished and I show you what I'm doing. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned.